To begin, we're going to go into our toolbox and grab a XAM report preview. This control essentially is going to uh, lay out and actually give the end user some flexibility of taking a look at uh, what their printed document is going to look like. Next, we're going to take this guy and actually put him into the uh, XAM Doc Manager Reports tab that uh, we had created in a previous webcast. Get rid of some of these uh, designer generated comments, or properties rather. And then we'll jump over to uh, procedural code by double clicking on our print preview button and adding an event. Okay, so to set up a print preview document, what you need to do is you need to start off by creating a new report object. So we're going to do that by saying infragistics.windows.reporting.report. My report equals new report. Okay, we've newed up a new report. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and say logistics.windows.reporting.embedded visual report section. Sam data grid. Now, an embedded visual report section uh, can actually contain any visual element. So in theory, I can actually throw this as AM chart, and it will know how to take this and add this to a uh, Infragistics report. Uh, I could actually go in and throw it in an entire window if I wanted to, and it will actually be able to take that and push that out as a report. In the case of this demo, we're just going to use the XAM data grid. Okay, so we've after we've done that, we've got the XAM data grid in the uh, visual report section. The next step is to go into our report and say my report dot sections. Now the interesting thing about uh, these printed documents is when you're creating out a report you can have multiple sections. So you can go and you can say okay well I want to have a chart and a grid both printed out in a single report. You can do that by just adding simply multiple sections and adding whatever content you want to those sections. So we'll say my XAM data grid. Okay so now we've got this uh, added to our uh, report and from here, there's only a few other things that we really need to do to get this to work. Um, if I had a print button, I could just simply come in here and say my report dot print and call print method. And that would essentially just print uh, the report that we've just created. But for the sake of this demo, what we're going to do is actually push this uh, printed document, our data grid, into that print preview that we just added. Say this dot xam report preview dot generate preview and we'll pass it a couple of uh, parameters. The first is our report that we just created. So we'll say my report. Do we need to show a print dialog? So a print dialog is essentially just the uh, the standard printing dialog, the print setup that allows you to pick the number of pages and which printer you're going to use. Uh, we don't necessarily need to show that. And uh, this is actually going to show a progress bar control that will actually say uh, the progress of the report being generated. So we'll go ahead and click true on that and select true. Okay, so with that, uh, we can go ahead and build this uh, application and see what happens. Okay, we'll go ahead and get data. And then we'll say print preview. Uh, the print dialog or print uh, progress bar comes up, generates the report, and you can see over here that I've actually pushed this out to the printer. So I can zoom in, and this is uh, basically what you're going to get when this goes out to a printed document. Okay, and with that, that concludes uh, our printing sample. So you can see how easy it is to take the XAM data grid or any visual element and put it out to the printer. Uh, you can also choose to export this out to an XPS document, uh, and that gives a different level of 
uh, collaboration that you can easily embed into your application. So with that, that concludes this part of the webcast series uh, and actually has created an entire line of business application using NetAdvantage for WPF. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.